parliament is guided by rules. What they have done is to try and anticipate and try and ambush the speaker. As we speak, there is no motion before the house. And for them to come and address the press and create an impression as though a motion has been admitted by Mr. Speaker. Leave so much to be desired. In fact, admissibility of questions, motions, or any process is the sole mandate of Mr. Speaker. So until your motion or any application is admitted by speaker, you cannot assume that you have a motion properly before the house. So I would want to say that simply put, they are just throwing dust into the eyes of Ghanaians. We are all aware that the world economy is in crisis. We are all aware that government has taken steps to address this economic crisis that we face as a nation. As we speak, we have an ongoing negotiation with the IMF. Midway in the negotiation, government cannot come and make an announcement. But trust government to be able to make a full disclosure of what engagement they've had with the IMF when all these things are concluded. It's difficult, especially for businesses and looking at the way our currency is faring. So anybody raising a concern about the state of the economy will be raising such a concern genuinely. This is not about NDC, MPP. It's a general problem we are facing as a country. Mighty UK. People are paying more for mortgages. Almighty UK. Great Britain. People do not have what it takes to uh, even buy essential commodities. So it is not an easy thing. As parents who are supposed to pay school fees, as businessmen who are supposed to pay bank loans. It is not easy. But what we're supposed to do is to have faith and work together. And I believe that as Parliament has just commenced, what the minority and the majority would have to do is to work together to build consensus on the key issues to support government. To me, that is our 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 main agenda but not the usual mpp ndc partisan attacks those ones will not help us um regarding views expressed by the majority caucus on certain matters of national concern i think that's the beauty of democracy people having the opportunity to express their views and where we have gotten to in our democracy, um, we should be happy that people don't keep what they have in mind within them, that they are being gagged. So we take all of that in good faith and continue to soldier on and work together for the betterment of our people. Mm -hmm.